Hello everybody, Cindy Grimley here, Editor-in-Chief at LawMarketing.com, and today I'm speaking with Kimberly Rice around how to establish yourself as a leader in your law firm. Now, the focus here for Kimberly and KALA Marketing Associates is in helping women attorneys with prospering in their legal careers. So, Kimberly, I want to welcome you to our session here today, and I'm really looking forward to hearing about some of the ways that um, you've encouraged some of your clients and, and other women attorneys on how to really establish themselves as a leader. I know you've shared lots of challenges that attorneys have shared with you um, in their, that they're having in law practices, but what are some of the ways that women attorneys can really establish themselves and let their law firm be aware of the leadership skills that they have to offer? Well, it's an interesting question, Cindy, because, you know, oftentimes we find that women, more than men, um, statistically um, proven, have um, more challenges in developing their own voice in their law practice within, especially if they're in a, in a, in a private practice, in a law firm. Right. Um, and that, there's many reasons as to why. But um, one of, there's a couple things that I would recommend. A, find out who the power players are in your firm um, and align yourself with them, whether that be your supervising partner, your practice group leader, your management committee, um, etc. And also, um, seek out women lawyer partners if your firm even has any, um, and, you know, and seek their insights into how to uh, effectively navigate some of those political waters within the firm um, that could help you, pre you know, prepare you and to help you move into more leadership positions. And then make it known. I mean, women sometimes have a very difficult time. You know, some folks say, well, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to appear like I'm bragging or I don't want to toot my own horn. You know, and it, it's all in mindset. You know, I mean, it's, it's absolutely all in mindset. It is, you know, um, owning your um, achievements or owning your abilities as a lawyer uh, and, and what you have to offer clients and being okay with that, being more than okay with that, being proud of that and saying, you know, I can really help my clients do X, in my opinion, maybe better than my next door neighbor or whatever, but making it known that you're willing to take on some of the tough assignments, um, you know, trying to get close and, and cultivate relationships with those folks who are in a position of power within your firm, um, and doing that on an ongoing basis. Um, it does pay off, um, you know, and sometimes, you know, folks get a little bit impatient. But then um, when you're in organizations externally, whether you may lead a charitable event or you, you know, you work your way into a leadership position at the Women in Profession at your, at your bar association, but, you know, it, it's kind of, you, will, you um, can navigate on multiple tracks, internally and externally, because what you're involved in externally can be used for internal gain. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and then promote that. I mean, if you have a marketing department or you have some type of PR mechanism within your reach, um, then you need to promote the fact and, you know, and have it be publicly known that you're speaking for whatever group or you're gotten just named on the board of directors of some charitable organization or nonprofit organization or are involved in these extracurricular activities. So uh, it, those may sound simple, but it, it's something that you just got to lock in strategically and then you just repetitively do it over and over and let us make sure as many people know about it as possible um, bring it up in targeted networking situations in, in a helpful manner. Um, and those, those little steps, not that those steps will go a long way um, if you implement them over a prolonged period of time um, that you are, will become recognized as the go-to attorney in a certain area. Um, and then that, that tends to lift you into leadership. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, really great tips, um, Kimberly. And I know that this stems from some of the challenges that your women attorney clients have come to you with, saying that they've really struggled with, with being able to really showcase themselves as a leader in the firm, or that uh, and you've also shared that a lot of women attorneys will be assigned an area and they'll just stay there, right? So they don't venture out, they don't apply their mindset to do that. So great tips, Kimberly, as always. Thanks again for sharing with us. I know people can find you at klamarketing.com. And as always, uh, enjoyed having you, and we'll talk again real soon. Thank you, Cindy. Take care.